Hello Aries and welcome to Blunt Saggy Tarot. My name is Robin and Aries today we're just going to do a general love reading baby. Let's talk about you Aries. Let's see what's going on in your love life. What's been going on. How it's going to play out. If it's been dry and there's been no love. Let's see if love is coming through. Let's talk about you. We got the axe. Damn. Okay. Let's see what's going on here Aries. And Aries for those of you who are interested I am doing personal readings if you want one. The link is in the description box below. This one's fell on the ground. What is this? Oh, I see what's going on. I see what's going on. We had an ending. We have a love call. And we have the phoenix. Somebody's missing you, Aries. Somebody's missing you. So let's see what's going on. This could be a repeated pattern. Where you break up, get back together, break up, get back together. Or maybe not. Um, you just There's clearly a separation. This person's missing you and they want to talk to you. Um, and we have the phoenix. So let's see what's going down. We have the two of pentacles. What else we got here for Aries? Spirit guides. We have the two of pentacles. We have the five of swords. We have the hanged man. We have the six of pentacles. Oh, the eight of swords. The three of cups. There's your reunion. The three of wands. The knight of pentacles. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the three of swords. This person is missing you. Let me say it again. This person is missing uh, you. So... Maybe this was a clear, this was a quick, you know, you just had an argument, you guys stopped talking, or there's a rift, something happened here, clearly. Um, but they're ready to turn their back on this. They're ready to progress forward. The Two of Pentacles is making a choice to come and talk to you, to come and resurrect this, to let you know how they're feeling, what they're thinking. They don't want to just lay in bed thinking about you anymore here, Aries. They want to take action. They want to progress this. They want to talk. The Eight of Swords. Uh, again, it's funny, I got the laying in bed there, but this is literally the card of laying in bed. Laying in bed, thinking, overthinking, worrying, fears, worst case scenarios coming through their mind. They miss you and they don't want anyone else to snag you from them. Three of Cups is a card of reunion. Three of Wands is getting what you want. And I feel when they do come back here, you guys are going to take things slow. This is the Knight of Pentacles. Tell us about this conversation. What does Aries need to know? I didn't need any clarity. It was pretty clear, concise, and accurate. Let me tell you, sometimes you get the reading and you don't know what's going on. Sometimes it's like, boom, clear as day. And Nine of Swords. Whoa, the devil. So that could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with here, or there's just a lot of lust, a lot of obsession. I feel this is a lot of thinking and analyzing. I think it's on both ends. You guys are thinking about each other a lot. You might be thinking about what happened. You might be replaying old conversations in your mind. What's under that for holding on to it? That's for sure. You're holding on to them, Aries, and I feel they're holding on to you. So this is an Aries who 100% wants to get back with this person. Um, they miss you. I feel that you miss them. There's a lot of thinking here. Um, maybe you guys are dreaming about each other even. And there's a star. Yeah. You are their wish come true, dream fulfillment. So <laughs> let me tell you, they're missing you. You're missing them. Uh, they're coming back here. Uh, it's been a slow mover or it's going to move slow. You know, whatever it was that happened, you must make sure that each one of you are healed and can trust each other again after that, right? So there is this element of healing that needs to take place. That's the three of swords. So this ending, the separation is coming to an end, Aries. Um, this person's going to reach out to you. They miss you. They want to talk. They want to fix this. So clear, concise, and short. <laughs> short and sweet, baby. So let's, you know, small things come in. No good things come in small packages, right? Um, but anyway, so let's see what you need to surrender to. Spirit guides, what does Aries need to surrender to when it comes to this person here? <laughs> Divine timing. This is like <laughs> a bittersweet card, don't you think? Don't you think? So sometimes divine timing might differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. And your addictions, whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, overworking, overthinking, take action and heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. Okay, what's the caring connection here between the, or excuse me, I'm going you Leo, so maybe you're dealing with a Leo, between Aries and this person, spirit guides, spirit guides, what's the caring connection here? Guilt, don't let guilt get in the way of happiness, okay, all right, let's grab your hidden truth here, let me get these cards, if they could say something that they're not saying, they want to say, they can't say, they don't know if they should say, but they, but you need to know. What is it, Spirit Guides? What does Aries need uh, to know? My life is not together as it seems. And the bottom is just being near you is intoxicating. All right. Well, let's get down to business here, Aries. Let's find out your potential outcome. When I say potential, there's always free will. 
You're going to make the decisions you're going to make. And when I say outcome, where are you guys in a month? How does this conversation go? How are you guys progressing? How are you doing? Are you healing things? Are you trusting each other? Spirit guides, talk to us. Where is Aries and this person in a month? We have five of cups. There's the past. There's the eight of pentacles. Okay. What else we got here? There's the knight of cups. There's a lot of love. The tower. Whoa. And justice. That's a major change. The empress. Well, Aries, you are in a good motherfucking energy. So the empress knows her value. She knows her worth. She's attractive. She's abundant. You know, she's also very fertile. So, you know, wrap things up or whatever. If you do not want babies <laughs> or children with this person just yet, or maybe never. But the empress is the sign of a mother. There could be a pregnancy here. Um, or someone might be getting pregnant. So if you don't want that, you know what to do. So the five of cups is still the past weighing you down. You guys are working on it. You're trying to heal. You're trying to trust. You're trying to work through that, but it's not fully over, um, here in a month. It's still kind of lingering. It's in the energy still. You're still working on things. I don't know what this tower moment is. The knight of cups with the tower. Um, justice is all about things working out, success, happiness. But what is this? I get the feeling someone's finding out someone's pregnant. So that might be a big surprise here. Um, what is the Knight of Cups and Tower? What else? What is this Tower moment? What is this big change? What is this? What is this? That was weird how that flipped up. Nine of Pentacles. It's a very strong, independent energy. Five of Pentacles. The Hermit. The Ten of Swords. There's, um, I think this Tower is their feelings. I, um, I think whatever it was that happened here, Aries, um, I think this is understanding how each other feels. I think there's a lot of um, growth. They really missed you, um, like really missed you. And I think that surprised you, right? You want to find that person that you can't live without, not the person that you can live with. And this person's realized they can't live without you. And I think that there's, um, that you're still a little bit guarded because I'm not sure you're completely over everything that happened. But I think you're realizing how much this person truly loves you and how much they want to be with you and how much they want to make this work. So um, there's still some challenges and some obstacles here, but there's a lot of love. There's a lot of independent energy. There's a lot of success because justice is there. Maybe you guys are getting married. Um, maybe someone's getting pregnant and they're going to the altar to, to, to make it legal. But whatever that is, um, there's still some challenges here, but there's a lot of love and you guys are working through them. I think the way they feel about you really surprises you. I don't think you realize just how much they loved you and how much they were hurt by the separation. Um, and you guys are just coming to realizations about one another here. Aries, that's what I got for you. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Helps my channel to grow. So thank you, Aries. I really appreciate that. Today, we're going to close your reading off with a yes or no question. So if the card comes up right, it's a yes. If the card comes in reverse, the answer is no. Spirit guys, what's the answer for Aries here? Yes. Oh, the answer is yes. Let's see it. Ace of Cups. That's what I got for you, baby. Truly wish you the best of luck, Aries. Until next time.